So here we are in uh, Copenhagen on the canal that goes out from the sea area to sea area. I mean, this is basically um, an island on that side where the hotel is. The airport's also there. You have to cross a bridge like that to get into the main part of Copenhagen, which is on the other side. But we've been given a canal. Um, this is a sea water canal. Um, we've been given a canal um, trip, as you can see. It's a rather low level on the microphone. I don't think anybody can hear her. She's, she's kind of aware of that because she can't hear her own voice, so she's a bit frustrated. People have accused me of being too lightly dressed. There's a lot of people around in jackets and what have you, and I'm just in a shirt. But um, when the sun actually shines down, it's um, it's quite warming. And of course, it's an opportunity to get the old vitamin D or whatever it's called. The French you see here uh, is called the Lange The French and English it connects uh, the island of Seed with the island of Ava on the right hand side. Well, there's some runners and going on. We're going on. to sail to uh, Christiania and Christianshavn where we're going to make a little stop and then we'll pick you up and uh, sail for, uh, to Nyhavn, a new harbour in English. Um, and this is the inner harbour of Copenhagen. Um, we have a lot of canals here in Copenhagen. We're going to sail into Frederik's Hot Canal um, and later on Christian's Hound's Canal. All of the canals here in Copenhagen are uh, man-made. Um, and the, uh, the big red building you see here on the left is uh, the old brewery of King Christian IV. It, it was built I've certainly got a lot of breweries around here. I wonder if they can actually organise that. houses the Danish Museum of Armament. And the boat you see on your right is uh, a hotel. Uh, you can stay on the boat. Uh, and the boat next to the hotel is a restaurant boat. We have a lot of uh, restaurant boats here in Copenhagen. The big white building you see here on the left is a hostel called Den Hostel. It was built after World War II and it was financed by the Marshall Plan from the US. And the building construction you see on the left is, uh, so is going to be a lot of uh, bridges called the Waves. Uh, it is designed by a very famous Danish architect called Bjarke Engels, who won a, a lot of uh, prizes. Uh, architecture. Uh, the next bridge is a bit low, so please uh, sit down and mind your head. <laughs> I've got to mind my head. I've got this plastic thing over my head, so hopefully that will work. <laughs> I 
interesting little ambulance. my luck this will be the central thumbnail knocked off by the bridge. Going very, very slowly, sorry. Just in case anybody didn't understand that and has their head stuck out. Very nice. Well, it's a bit of a maneuver getting a boat like this through a tunnel and then around this corner, isn't it? Uh, 
Storm blowing. I hope he doesn't stay as welcome here like he did in Charles Dickens' house. Thank you. 